I want to tackle this because creating your target list is fundamentally one of the most important things to do and one of the one of the areas that most student athletes, parents, families just uh, don't have the right approach and uh, don't usually create uh, a target list that includes enough schools and the right type of schools and a variety of schools. So really that target list, you know, combines, these are, you know, eight different important criteria that are part of the target list that are pretty common sense. Um, realizing that, you know, college impacts uh, the rest of your life or the rest of your child's life. Um, this process is where a lot of families need, you know, some one-on-one -on -one guidance and help with um, as part of the, you know, college game plan process. Uh, and I want to dive a little bit deeper in this because understanding what are the opportunities out there. Tonight's workshop is focusing on just NCAA, D1, D2, and D3. But you have the NAIA level, which is four-year colleges, and then you also have the junior college level. Again, four-year programs that are out there. Um, or two-year programs at the junior college level, four-year at the NAIA. Um, so keeping your mind open is a big deal. This slide, if you just look at all these logos, you probably recognize a large majority of them. And that's because these are Division I programs. And this is the same, you know, programs that uh, you as a parent recognize. Uh, as a student athlete in high school, you recognize some of these. Uh, but the bottom line is, as you read the, the bottom sentence, NCAA Division I is less than 20% of college sports opportunities. So understanding uh, that is, is really important. Um, you know, in this process.